I have knocked a very dangerous hard habit. Hello, my friend, and welcome to today's Topic Talk. I am here with the absolutely incredible ABI survivor, Jimmy. Hey! Jimmy, welcome to Topic Talk. Today, we are talking, my friend, uh, about hard habits and something that you brought up recently, Jimmy, that I thought is really interesting is about habits and how we break them. They can be really hard when we've got a vice to get through life. I know that mine is um, sweets. I'm not going to lie. It's sweets. Um, and that's hard because sugar is so addictive. But I really want some tips on how to break it. And, and for our peeps watching right now, Jimmy, we want to know, what a hard habit is of yours and your top tips on how to break it. Well, my, my habit is smoking, tobacco smoking. And um, I think like it's about time I actually did something about this. Um, and uh, I've kind of like uh, written down, I guess, three very nice um tips on what I think helps uh, me be more aware of the behavior and take more control. I like that. I like that you did the, the LEG West Saeed at Thank three. <laughs> yeah. Take it away. It, if you'd like. Okay. Well, my first is, um, well, it's kind of actually, it's a tricky thing. See, I've written stuff down and I always do this and then I start talking about it and then I refer back to what I've written down, wondering if I'm saying it correctly. So, First of all, I feel like saying um, it's important to mention the word dedication and determination. As I, I'm, I'm making an assumption that it's already been discovered that this is a behaviour, this is a habit that I'm dead set on actually making some change about. So you see, the answer, if, you, if there's no dedication and determination, in a, in a way, no tip is of any use, really. Yeah. So that's a kind of good little preamble there um but my first tip is journaling journaling is like basically it's a monitoring of of behavior and um this gives information about what's going on like an example would be imagine you come home from the doctor and the doctor said okay I don't have to do anything except, oh, one thing. I've got to actually um, get a, a, a clear recording of how many breaths I do in one day. Like you've never thought about how many breaths you do in one day, but all of a sudden you have a numerical number to it. And all of a sudden you've added this kind of conscious as association with the behavior. So you're making it more um, conscious rather than just something that happened. So journaling monitoring is a very powerful tool and my next tip was preemptive journaling <laughs> so what what's going on now is it's like you look back yesterday okay i had 15 cigarettes and they were at these times it's roughly that time now i'm just going to have one instead of two in this sitting i think and then all of a sudden you've actually changed the behavior if you actually stick to what you preemptively journal and this is what I've been doing. It's been really effective over the last few days, I guess. And I think my, my last tip is curiosity because what's great about curiosity is that it isn't good or bad. It's just simply um, there for knowledge, really. So it's a really good way to approach it that you are not um going to uh think ill of yourself if there is uh a, a slip back for example like keep maintaining that that goal uh and think well okay there was a spike in the number then and you can see that clearly from your journaling what was that what was going on there and then I, I speak about what I call distancing. So this is going to sound ridiculous, but if you've designated a, 
a smoking place. Sorry that I'm using smoking as my example here, but if you that's, right. that's just that's just what's that's what's real for you. It's all good. Radical. Well, say say so you're you're a smoker, but you might you've done like okay, I need to make some change here. So you dedicate a place in your in your living space that is a smoking area, and then you're like I'm trying to get rid of the smoking, and then finally the genius thing hits you. It's like maybe I should if I smoke there, maybe what I should do is store my tobacco there. So there's an actual physical distance. I have to walk, have another one after I've had one there. So you're actually putting a physical gap between what could have been an endless flow, an endless river of that behavior. So it's Ooh, kind of I like, like that. Every, yeah, if you can oh, create physical yeah. spaces is a great way to, to make, make something that was just going like off the, what's the word? Uh, I always when I, when there's a saying I need to want to say it just doesn't get to me the saying but when there's like an endless flow of this silly behavior you're trying to stop to put something that's a physical thing between doing it again yeah I love great. that and then that... every step of the way to doing it again you're like should I really um, do I essentially you're making it a more conscious choice so but still keep monitoring it and keep looking back because like after a week of monitoring it's rich data there like that's that's what i was preparing to say that all of this is i'm going to sound like a psychologist here thank you all of this is a rich tapestry <laughs> a rich tapestry. jimmy yeah. that is a beautiful way to just finish that example thank yeah. you so much for sharing it no thank you so much for sharing it you are a bit of a let's be real you are a bit of a psychologist in our community um the things that i got from that i just wrote it down as you were talking because i thought that there's a lot in that that's really cool <clears throat> these sort of three tips i guess that first thing of you know making the commitment as you said the dedication that real commitment and that dedication to going i'm acknowledging that i need to change a habit brilliant so that's like our baseline and then what i got from the three things you picked up you talked about journaling um, I guess, which, you know, you watching, you might say documenting, journaling. Yeah. What is the behavior? Making it, making it tangible. The next thing that you said is about preemptive journaling, which I went, oh, it's kind of like adjusting. You're kind of monitoring and adjusting your behavior slightly. And then the final thing, this idea of curiosity that you said, I thought is great. This non judgment and breaking breaking your patterns I yeah. thought that's putting that like how you've talked about the distancing putting the um putting something in the way of the behavior to stop your body from just automatically doing it if it is something that is physical you know sometimes if it's a thought we can do that with our thoughts we can literally use different self-talk when we uh acknowledge ourselves rather than saying oh you know you're for me, sometimes I go, oh, that was a bit stupid. You go, oh, that was um, a choice that led to this outcome. Suddenly I've broken the judgment of myself and I've just talked about the behaviour and that is such a powerful thing. Yeah. So now we want you to let us know about a hard habit that you have and what are your tips on how to break it? Please, in the comments below, share your stories. Let us know what are some of the things that you're dealing with that might be a hard habit? Um, comment on other people's too, so that we all know that we're not alone because we all have hard habits. But the biggest thing that we want to really know right now is what is your hard habit and what are your tips on how you break it? Let us know down 